A generation ago, I did four years of college, and then I went on to uh, complete my master's degree in three more years. And during that time, I worked every day to pay the expenses. I got married during that time. My wife worked, and she helped pay for the expenses. And I still had you know, a couple of scholarships. My parents helped out a little bit. And I, I had student loans when I graduated. But those were gone in a couple of years after I was done. And I share this with you not to brag, but to say, you know what? This is pretty much impossible today. I mean, it's a nightmare what has been created. And what happened? Well, I think the federal government getting involved killed it. Started back in the mid-1960s when the government started guaranteeing loans. This was disastrous. Let me tell you why. Until that point, banks, this is how they made their money, giving out loans and then being paid back with interest. And so when they gave out a loan, they had to be somewhat scrupulous with that. And so if a student came and said, hey, I'm majoring in computer science or pre-med or engineering, Well, it's a safe bet that if they graduate, get a job in that field, they'll pay back those loans with interest. On the other hand, if you come and say, you know what, I'm going to major in transgender poetry appreciation. Well, the banks would go, you know, what job are you going to get uh, after that? So they would be less likely to loan someone going into that field. And that's where the government comes in to be politically correct and make it fair and start guaranteeing loans and there's no chance they're going to be paid back. So the taxpayers will have to foot the bill. This is a no-brainer for students because they're like, cool. So if I don't pay this back, I don't have to worry about it. Or the banks, listen, no scruples. They'll give out a loan to anybody if the government's coming in to pay you know, the principal interest on those loans. And so naturally, defaults happen like, crazy. Then in the 1990s, the government begins to do direct loans to students and ease the banks out. Then in 2010, the deal was complete under the Obama administration. They successfully took over the student loan market 100%. So now when you go to a financial aid office in a college to get a loan, it's going to be from the federal government uh, in every case. And by the way, kind of funny, do you know why they took it over in 2010? They felt like this would bring more money into the government, which would help pay for Obamacare, which is another financial nightmare via the federal government. So I don't know how we're going to get out of these messes. The high tuition, the ridiculous student loan debt of $1.5 trillion, don't know what's going to happen with health care. But there's a couple of lessons we should to learn. Number one, this country was founded on the principle that if you're going to prosper, it's going to be done through you, your independence, your freedom, your hard work, your creativity. And number two, anytime the federal government takes over a sector of our economy, it is going to be financial disaster. So for those of you who want socialism, please, you know, this government's not set up for that. You need to wipe out the Constitution, start from scratch. Otherwise, It's going to be another disaster.